Hey guys, Fusebox, back on Raid Shadow Legends, and this one is a little bit frustrating, I'm not going to lie. My first question to all of you, did something change in Iron Twins? Uh, I'm hearing that something has changed with teams that are just straightforward teams, going in with resistance and healers and revivers. Uh, I definitely know something changed with my unkillable uh, block damage team, and uh, I've heard even other teams are just not even 100% now. So here's the thing. I've been running the same team, the team that I came up with for four months with no problems. Uh, there have been issues with people having to juggle an A1 or not with cold heart, depending on how much damage they did. But honestly, no problems. So something's changed and, and nothing's been said. If I missed it, let me know. But in the patch notes, I've seen nothing different about the Iron Twins. I think I might have a small handle on what's making my team not work. And basically, I'm going to give you a Band-Aid. I don't know that this is 100%, but it got my team working again. So if you're if somebody just built this team and it didn't work, and that's how I even found out because I haven't had time or energy to spend on Iron Twins in so long. But we happen to be the one affinity you might actually want to run. So I'm going to show you the team as it used to be and as it is now. And we're not going to use Geomancer. We want to use Cold Hearts because it's a longer team. I want to make sure that this fight can stand the full three, four minute fight. Uh, and that's what a lot of people are going to do. Uh, I make sure while we're talking about it that you understand what the purpose in this is. Uh, Cold, You're not really doing damage with these heroes, right? Just War Master procs. Cold Heart can do the 10% damage if you don't have a Geomancer or another way to do big damage on this boss. So uh, the, the way this always was before... We'll set this right back up like it used to be. Uh, so we got Helicath going just slower than 250, which is the speed of the boss. He is interchangeable with Rosh card, but my Rosh card is going just over the speed of the boss, right? 251 is just fine. I'm going 253 because I had to mess with gear. So if you're going faster with one, slower with the other, that means you can use your Helicath or your Rosh card on both Clan Boss and here on Iron Twins. Uh, we used to have Warcaster running at about 246, 247 speed. We're going to talk about that being the one change that got this at least working. And then really there's a huge swath of speed. These are both at 177, but honestly, there's a you can go higher. You can go all over the map with these really. But around here has been working, so that's what I'm using. Uh, so what did I do to make it work? What was happening, I noticed that somehow for some reason, Plarium... Let me know what you did. My Warcaster was seemed to be taking an early turn at the wrong time, right? So I dropped his speed. I just took his banner off. I lost 18 speed. I'm right around 230. That's a pretty easy change uh, to get you at least working again. Like I say, it's more of a band-aid. I don't know that it's 100%. Uh, it has been for me so far, but, you know, we're at a point now where if your cold hearts are doing different damage, I don't know if it'll stay in sync, right? But at least I want you to be able to run your team so I dropped him to around 230, right? He just needed to be slightly slower from what I was seeing. And that really lined things up, except for there's a point where, and this is what I think changed. When Warcaster puts up his no damage buff, we're not getting that full bar forcing the boss to take a hit. Something's changed there. And obviously it's, it feels like the speeds may have changed, but that could be the reason the speeds feel like they changed. Uh, Plarium, if you're going to mess with stuff, right? If you're going to F stuff up, let us know. We work really hard to make these teams, to get people through it. It's not like it's easy to come up with three heroes to do this, speed tune them all, right? Everyone else is struggling too, and it's worked for four months. What has changed? So if you drop Orchestra around 230, right? It doesn't have to be exact. Just drop him some speed. I took his banner off. He's not wearing a banner right now. War Rosh Guard now will have to take one hit. Okay, he's going to take a hit. So I have really bad stats. Beef him up, right? I'm at 40,000 HP. I've got 2,400 defense, but I do have a Defiant set on him to make that hit take 15% less damage. One Defiant set. You don't have to use a Defiant set. Just give him good defense and good HP, kind of like, uh, you know, naturally I've got a lot more defense on Helicath because he's built that way. So with the only change being dropping my speed about 18 speed, roughly right doesn't have to be exact i'm sure you got one piece of gear you can swap out and then making sure that rosh card is beefy enough to take a hit we can now run it again i the thing is 
I shouldn't have to make this video. It should never have changed. So let's just watch what, and this is not perfect now because we don't fully understand what the hell they did to Iron Twins. So let me know, even if you don't run this team, does Iron Twins feel different now? I'm trying to get my finger on it and they, they gave us no information. So we're going to take this off auto and take our second A1 with Helicath right here, just as always, put it back on auto. So somewhere around one minute, you're going to see where things don't line up. And I'll slow it down when we get around that point and show you that we have, we already have one, one stack of no damage left on Rosh card when we put up no damage from Warcaster. And I don't know if they changed the way I'm going to slow it down. If they changed, uh, it'll be the next turn. Maybe now it doesn't override it. So we're not getting that 10% boost on the boss's turn meter. I'm not a hundred percent sure because there was no information in any patch notes that I saw. If I missed them, please let me know. Please let me know. Cause I need to understand this to get it where it's truly working right again. So on this next turn that, that we get with a uh, warcaster, He's going to put up his buffs, but you notice we still have buffs up. And I think that right there, Roshkar sneaks an extra turn. That means he's going to take a hit because he used his buff. Like I say, I'm at the bare minimum. Just beef him up. He's not doing damage. Give him HP and defense so he can take that hit and survive. I use the Defiant set. And then things tend to line up again but i don't know where it's going to be 100 percent because i have seen a run even though i succeeded where i took damage on helicath uh and uh, many other runs i took no more damage the rest of the fight because i do not fully understand what they did what did you do Plarium? <laughs> like like if your team's been messed up this is at least a band-aid something for you to get your team running again i do not spend much energy or time in iron twins anymore it's too much energy there's too much Mm, stuff to do right uh, but you see it, it just seems to line back up and everything's fine we just have to eat that one hit with rosh card which is easy to do fair enough and one change to speed that's super simple you don't have to build these guys for damage at all right they're they're doing damage with war master procs and cold hearts doing the 10 percent. if you got geomancer much faster right much faster which also means much safer but i'm using the two cold hearts because it's a longer fight and we can make sure that things stay lined up and again i can promise you that's why I, I can't say it's 100 percent. i know that one time i saw damage come in on my helicath uh it didn't affect the fight he didn't even take half damage he did just fine because he's a beefy character but whatever the change is we we need to know we need to know like we work really hard on these teams to help people out and it's not an easy team to build and you got to have specific heroes right variations of some powerful heroes uh, so even if it was inadvertent and accidental, maybe it's a bug, but Plarium, we do need to understand what has changed. So I definitely want to hear the changes you've seen. Even if you don't run this team, I need to know the changes that you've seen so that we can try to get, uh, it fixed. If it's an accident or an understanding, if it's something that Plarium did, there have been so many controversies where, I mean, come on, Brimstone, <laughs> Like, you know, all the blessings just getting messed with when things were working, right? We liked things that weren't too powerful, but they were powerful enough to matter. We were integrating them after all this time into our teams. And then they changed. Why do they got to mess with things, right? I feel like I'm dealing with my kids sometimes. Just if it's working, leave it alone. Look, I can't promise 100%. It's been working great for me. I'm on my next set of six keys. I hope this is a band-aid that will help you if it's been failing. Drop to around 230 speed on Warcaster. Beef up your your Rosh card or whoever is your fastest person laying the uh, no damage buffs. They're going to have to take a hit. After that, I've had no problems. Uh, if you're That's the problem. If your cold hearts are doing more or less damage, I guess it would be less. It may change when a certain hit comes in. Uh, try starting with an A1 on one of your cold hearts to shift the damage if that's the, the issue. But the only change I had to make was I dropped 18 speed by taking off a banner and I put one defiant set. You may find it easier just to beef him up with like three 3,500 defense, 50,000 HP. Just make sure that you can take that one hit and at least you can 
get back into grinding this dungeon if that's what you want to do. And let me know, did your team continue working? Did it stop working? I really need to know. Thank you for your time, Plurian. And please, just an explanation, at least an explanation or dig into it, please, so that we can understand this. As far as it getting messed up with nobody getting a warning, yeah, don't worry, player. We'll fix that, right? Here's a Band-Aid. It's not perfect. It may be. It's working good for me. So give me some feedback. And until next time, enjoy the grind.